when when thinking about going to administration, I knew that Bayshore was the only place that I wanted yeah. to be an administrator in because of the way that you felt um, in the buildings. Mm -hmm. Everyone was pleasant. Everyone wanted to help you. And I wanted to keep that going as the school leader where the culture that I cultivated was one where when someone walked through that front door, that they felt like they were already home, that mm -hmm. they were already mm -hmm. welcome and that they were already a part of something and that they mattered. Mm -hmm. Because all throughout my years, both you know, growing up as a kid and then um, teaching, I was in the shadows. Whether I put myself there or whether I was made to um, sort of know my place. Mm -hmm. And I say that because I just finished reading the book Cast, which was amazing. Mm -hmm. um, and they talk about sort of the, the um, situations that make people feel like, um, like they need to be silent more than they need to speak and more about um, recognizing that when people feel heard, they actually contribute more mm -hmm. to the culture and environment because they then are empowered to do things, share things that at times they might have been silent about. Mm -hmm. And it's those different voices that I try to encourage and that um, I, I seek to make sure that I include. I, try to amplify the voices of the quietest person mm -hmm. in the room because I recognize that once I do that and once I support them and once I encourage that, that they excel far beyond what they themselves even thought mm -hmm. was possible. Well, they, they, so it's, it's interesting, like, you know, we like you, you kind of joke a little bit about the photocopier thing, but there's something really big about that, right? And when you say about how it, it's it's – it's like I want to be at a place where I feel appreciated, where it's it's not just you say it, the actions line up. And it's like it's like saying, oh, like we so appreciate teachers like they're the best. And but we need you to kind of spend all your own money and we need you to do this. And we're not going to really like, do these things. And so like but we so appreciate you. <laughs> and it's like, well, not really. Like none of your actions are lining up with that. And I always talk about the difference. uh that there is a really important, and it, it's like you, you exemplified the story, is that there is a difference between being valued and feeling valued. And when you did the photocopier thing, that was you feeling valued. And like, that's, that's what I want to be. And I think when we get that feeling, we want to create that for others too, where they have this. This, this is going to be, this isn't just, this is, I think this is just our school district, but it, this was a, such a subtle thing. It was just a little thing, and this might like throw off some people listening to this. So when I was a principal, every staff member had their own school credit card, right? Like they had a legitimate their own credit card, and they had a and they had a. I'm not even kidding. They had a they had like a certain I'm like what? Yeah, they had a certain <laughs> limit of like what they would do, so that they wouldn't like there was not even the step of like you go buy stuff and then we'll reimburse you. It's like no, you use a credit card. And like, if we see you're buying a sports car, like we're going to flag that and there's going to be something there. <laughs> and like, you had to like, you know, say like, yeah, I bought this, blah, blah, blah. But it wasn't like, we didn't even want that temporary. And like, just even thinking about it, there was times in my career where like I was, I had a thousand dollar overdraft and I was like always within $20 of it at the end of each month. So I couldn't spend an extra 25 bucks, right? On school supplies. Yeah. And like, you know, I, like I remember that was something I really struggled with. And so that was never something that a teacher had to deal with. And we'd say like, hey, you got like an X amount of limit for the year. But if you need to go beyond it, just just come and talk to me and we'll like, wow. you know. And so like little things like that make a difference. And I think a lot of people when they, um, when they actually see that, like when they actually, um, that little thing is something about making sure people feel appreciated.